Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully everybody is chilling right now. Hopefully everybody is doing well. But today I'm gonna to be talking about my top five favorite phones. I'm gonna add an additional one at the end just cause I like it a lot. But if you're new to the crew, do me a quick favor. Hit both the like and the, the subscribe button as well. I definitely, truly appreciate you for doing that. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So the first phone we're gonna be taking a look at is the Google Pixel 4a. Now, uh, I'm gonna talk about six phones, basically five, but an additional one at the end. This one is, I would consider to be a daily driver. It has a lot of cool features to it. It's very stock Android. It gets your Android updates to it really quickly. You get all of your uh, streamlined performance on this guy. So. You're gonna be able to game really nicely. It's also very easy user interface to use. You have some additional features that some phones don't offer, like um, the one where they record the music in the background now playing. Uh, you do have like other things on here that you could use, like when you're the, the, the live caption, you also do have other options on here like screencast. I'm not gonna get into a whole review about this device, but it does have uh, it does have a nice storage configuration, six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes as well. We also do have a phenomenal 12 megapixel camera on the back of it, which actually does it all. It does really portraits really well, does video really well. It has a nice fluid display. It's only 60 Hertz and the screen display is 5.8 inches. So it's a really nice one-hander device to use. So it has the Snapdragon 730G which is capable of playing Fortnite, Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG, Asphalt 9, Gear Club, Genshin Impact. So there's no hiccups, no stutters. The camera works really well. I just really like this device when it comes to the daily um, swiping through it is really zippy. There's no issues with per the performance after the time I've had it. It's also running the, Alandro the Android 11 on here. We're soon to get the Android 12. So. I really like the Pixel 4a, so let's jump into the next phone and that's gonna be the Poco X3 NFC. Now, this device is a lot bigger in the hand, has a lot more weight to it compared to the Google Pixel 4a. So the, the Poco X3 is basically gonna give you that really nice form factor in your hand. Like I said, it's it's got a really nice display on here. It's 6.67 inches full HD plus as well 730 732g as far as the processing chip so we're going to be able to also play fortnite on here it also does have a configuration of six gigabytes of ram and 64. this one has 64 gigabytes of internals but you do have an sd card slot the google pixel 4a doesn't have the sd card slot so if you wanted to expand the storage you could definitely do that on this device. And another thing that I really like about this device is that it has that 90 Hertz refresh rate on it or 100, 120 refresh rates on it. It has NFC, it has, you know, really a lot of features on this guy. It also has extremely good battery life. It has an IR blaster on it. It has a really good battery, so you're gonna get tremendous battery life with this thing. Also, the cameras are exceptional, 64 megapixel in the rear. We have also a configuration of 20 megapixels on the front as well, but it does have macro camera portrait modes, things of that nature. The storage, like I said, gets really good. You get a ton of storage on this device as well. So like I said, you will be impressed. Really good haptic feedback on this device as well. I just really can't complain. I, I have about 57 out of the 64 but because i put the sd card slot in there i do have expansion i can move actually i can't move my ass to the sd card on here but i can put my photos on the sd card as well but this device does also run android 11 and it gets updates pretty frequently so it's another one of my favorite daily drivers now the next device we're going to be talking about is the samsung galaxy note 8 and this device does have a super amoled display iris sensor so it just unlocked with my iris i really do like that it also does have a notification light curved edges it's still running that android 9 but 
honestly, it's a, it's it's been a it's ahead of its time still because it's got some really cool features. So the display just bursts out at you. You still get the edge panels on this one, but it's actually running an older version of Samsung 2.1, I believe, is the software that we got on here, but. You know, it's still pretty good. I don't have any issues with it whatsoever. It's actually One UI 1.0, which is kind of crazy, but uh, I just updated it to the December 2020 security patch, which was the latest one that it had available for this one. And by the way, if you're liking the video so far, do me a quick favor, hit both the like and the subscribe button. Uh, I definitely appreciate you for showing your support and appreciation to the channel and helping us grow. So definitely appreciate you for, for doing that and contributing to the channel. So like I said, this is gonna have a really beautiful display. It's gonna be a 6.3 inch display. You get a fingerprint on the back. You also do get a pretty decent battery, 300, 300, 3,300 milliamp hour battery. And now this was the, Pareto, the one that came after the Note 7 fiasco, but one of the things that is this conspicuous thing about this is what really stands out is the bleeding edges and the S Pen, right? You get the S Pen on here as well. So you can take notes, you can draw, you can sketch. It has all of that built right in and, uh, you know, it's really solid. So this thing does have Samsung uh, DeX right on board. So if you wanted to hook it up to your computer, all you'd have to do is plug it into a HDMI cable and then you could use it on your phone your monitor so that's the third phone that we're going to be talking about the third phone that i use as a daily driver now the fourth phone we're going to be taking a look at is the n10 from oneplus this is the n10 nord 5g now this phone is really cool still it's it's only about six months old now something like that but as a 6.5 inch display rear fingerprint on the back of it we also do have you know snapdragon 690 on this device so I do have Fortnite on here again. All of these phones are considered really high range, mid range phones, but for the budget price point. So they do it all. Um, the NFC, the Poco NFC, I, what I liked about that one is that it had the pro video mode and the same thing with the Samsung Note 8. The Google Pixel doesn't have the pro video mode. This one doesn't have it either, but they all have night mode. They all have really good portrait and they all have really good photos and photography on all of these devices. So that's one of the reasons why I consider them my daily drivers is because I could take them on vacation with me or anywhere I'm going. And um, I'm really confident with the, the picture quality and also the video quality is stable on all of the devices that I mentioned so far. So like I said, I really do enjoy the Nord. It's gonna have that 4,300 milliamp hour battery. It does, it's still stuck on Android 10. So we should be getting the Android 11, but I do have a newer oxygen update on this device that recently just released. And I'm gonna update that very soon as well. So it's like the oxygen 10.5 or something like that uh, when I go into system. So I'm gonna show you guys right here. It does say we are actually on May 5th right now, Android 10. So I really like the Nord N10 5G. It also does have that 5G capability. It has a really, really good display. It has like that always on display thing where you can like see the screen when you're, when you move it subtly. And also it has a 16 megapixel front camera, 64 megapixel for the main camera. And we do get, you know, some, some really cool viewing angles, 406 for the PPI as well. So 90 hertz refresh rate as well. You can also tone it down to 60 if you want to save battery. Now, the next phone I want to talk about is the LG G8X. Thank you. Now, this device is pretty special. It does have a special place in my heart. The cameras are, are literally inside of the phone embedded in there. LG was like the first company to do that. So... The, you could literally swipe your finger over top of the back and not feel a single thing on the back of it. So I really do like that part about the phone. It's 6.4 full HD display. Uh, really beautiful panel, 4,000 milliamp hour battery. You can also have the in-display fingerprint sensor on here. Cameras are really good. Pro mode for video. Snapdragon 435 uh, as well. So it's a little bit older, but we do have I think it's the Snapdragon 855, my bad. The Note 8 had the Snapdragon uh, 835. So I just wanted to correct myself right there. But 
we do get a 32 megapixel front facing camera and we do get a 12.2 main rear facing camera and the screen on here is absolutely beautiful you do get that dual screen attachment which is pretty cool because when you put that attachment on this device it's going to run with the dual screen and you can I have it somewhere back here but i think it's pretty cool because you can game on it really nicely it's got six gigabytes of ram 128 gigabytes of internal storage military grade standard as far as dust proof and water resistancy ip68 as well as that oled panel as well as the 403 pixels per inch wireless charging is on here as well as on the note 8 as well so another one of my favorites so those are my top five but the last phone i'm going to add in just a squeeze it in there not mo not many people could get their hands on this phone this is the honor uh x10 so this is the honor x10 and this is another phone that i really like it has 5g on, on the t-mobile network it also has this a 6.4 inch display full hd plus display the Kirin 820 was on here so you could when you're playing PUBG on here you can run it i've never seen PUBG run as high as it has on the graphics portion. You can get up to Ultra HD and extremely high graphics on here. So that's one of the favorite things. Like you also do 90 hertz refresh rate on here. Android 10, the latest security patch of May 1st or something like that, Mark, May 1st. And then you also get that crazy um, TFT. Well, the, the display is really good. It's really good, but you get that Kirin 8. 20 which which is really it's sick you're gonna get really good performance but not only that the cameras are extremely good you don't have a sd card like you and you don't have that on the pixel 4 either to expand the storage for memory and stuff like that but all of these phones have headphone jacks just keep that in mind all of these phones have headphone jacks all of these phones are good for gaming and things of that nature so this does have a 40 megapixel camera which runs really nice no no pro video mode but we do get an 8 megapixel for wide angle as well so the battery will last you at least two to three days or something like that depending on how long you use it but these are the phones that i use and can consider my daily drivers but let me know what you guys would consider your daily drivers let me know your list your top five I just added a, a sixth one in there just because I couldn't leave it out. It's one of my favorite devices of 2021. But I'm going to get right back with you. And I'm going to show up in the comment section and show you some love. So I'll meet you guys down there right now. But make, do me a favor, hit the like button before you get out of here. And I'll check you guys later. Peace.